Welcome to a Pennant album tutorial. I'm Shari Philomahala here at the Graphic 45 headquarters and I'm excited for you to let your imagination soar with our Fairy Wings collection and our Club G45 exclusive, the Scallop mini album, uh, chipboard album. Uh, this month we are going to be learning lots of new fun techniques. We will be uh, learning how to create some hidden windows where we'll be able to add some extra photos or uh, just have a little peekaboo with a fun little image behind. We'll also be learning how to create some fun flaps and um, just creating some easy peasy uh, photo mats in your albums. And then just taking some of our Graphic 45 cut apart pages, which we are famous for having which are always some of our best selling papers where we're going to be taking some of those cut aparts, just scoring at the top to create some more interactive flaps. Of course, always adding even more opportunities for all of your gorgeous photos. And it wouldn't be a graphic 45 project if we didn't include some fussy cutting. This time we'll be fussy cutting out some uh, fun little border pockets that will go on our pages where we can add some extra cut aparts to stuff in those pockets. And then, just really utilizing some of our embellishments. So we're going to be using our uh, die cut assortments in here, our chipboard, as well as um, the collection pack that comes with two as uh, sticker sheets. So we're going to have lots of fun, lots of stuff to work with when creating these gorgeous albums. Uh, this month's projects have been created for us by the wonderful and talented Maria Cole. And Maria has uh, not only created this gorgeous pennant album, but with the leftovers, she's teaching us how to join the hot new slimline card uh, trend and uh, using our leftovers, just creating a super cute hidden message card as well. So let's go ahead and you can pick up our kit on our website g45papers.com. You can also subscribe so you get a monthly kit just sent to your door every month. So either way, uh, grab your goodies, your papers and scissors, and let's start creating one of these memorable albums. You'll notice in the project sheet that the photos show the album in craft. However, our albums are all going to be in ivory that we'll be using. For step one, we're going to take one sheet of rainbow sparkle and we're going to cut out each of these cut aparts so you can see on our project sheet it will look like this. Step two, with butterfly whimsy, we're going to trim off all of the borders and we will cut two of those pieces to be five inches long and then we'll have five pieces that are going to be four inches long and then we'll cut out all these remaining images so it will look like this. Step three, from Tiny Blossoms, we're going to cut off the bottom four inches. So we'll have a piece that'll be 12 inches by four and then cut off that info strip. And then just taking two of your chipboard scallop pieces, we're going to go ahead and line these up to be uh, flush with the top and sides on both the right and left. And then we'll trace these out and cut it out. I'm just going to trim those straight sides on my traced pieces. And once we've done that, now we can just cut along just on the inside of our pencil lines. And do the same with the second one. And of course, once you start to get more comfortable, or if you're already feeling confident, you could try to cut two at a time. Just making sure that you're keeping your papers together. You could even use a little bit of washi tape so your, paper, your papers don't wiggle around. And then you could just take off that washi tape once you're done. But we love this scalloped edge, it gives it that nice feminine look that goes perfectly with 
our fairy wings collection. Now, our fairy wings collection was such a huge hit that it sold out pretty much immediately once we put it up on our website. So we're already on our second reprint of it and it's still just selling like hotcakes. Then we'll repeat step three with step four for tiny blossoms and step five with woodland wishes. We'll have, uh, this will be the pink side up. Step six with magic meadows, the floral side up. Step seven with blowing bubbles, the print text side up. And step eight with fairy wings on the B side gingham up. Step nine, we're gonna take two sheets of the daffodil dance and we'll uh, cut off the bottom four inches of both of those sheets and both of those we'll cut in half so you'll end up having four pieces that are going to be 12 inches by two inches. Step 10, we're taking our second piece of Woodland Wishes and we're gonna be cutting off uh, four inches from the right so you'll have a piece that'll be four by 12. And then we will be having our two of our scallop pages one will have the scallops uh, facing the left and one will have the scallops facing the right that we'll trace and uh, cut out. In the directions after you trim out your scallop pieces, it says to punch the holes. However, I like to punch the holes once I adhere it onto my chipboard so I know I have it in the perfect placement. And then so you'd hear one side on your chipboard, punch a hole, adhere the second paper on the other side, punch holes but you can do it um, the other way around too, like it says in the directions. Either way, it's gonna work great. I just find it a little less fussy doing it this way. Step 11, from the second sheet of Magic Meadows, we are gonna trim one piece to be five and five eighths by four and one eighth. And then we're gonna cut out two more pieces that are gonna be six inches by four inches. Step 12, we're taking some coordinating cardstock and we're cutting this to be six inches by four and a half inches. In the project sheet, it uses white, but I'll be using ivory on our project today. Step 13, we are gonna take from Rainbow Sparkle the Let It Dream. Step 13, from Rainbow Sparkle, we're gonna take the cut aparts that say, let your dream soar and this fairy wings. And we are gonna be cutting out the inside of these frames. So I want uh, the, purple, the blue, purple, and blue to be intact and I'm going to be cutting out the center image uh, starting with that pink border will be cut out. So here I'm showing you how to do this with a craft knife and a cutting mat and a ruler. But I'll also show you a method on how to do it with a paper trimmer that where you can pick up your blade. And put it down where you'd like. So now I have it mostly cut out. I'm just going to take my fine tip scissors to help with anything that's a little sticky. So now that we're cut out our first of the ephemera cards, let me show you what we are actually going to be doing with this. So this is where we're creating these super fun little frames. So because we've taken it apart, we are going to adhere it together so it looks like it's still one piece, but then when you slide in your photo mat, it looks like a great little frame with a surprise underneath. Another way we can cut out our frames while keeping it all intact is if you have a paper trimmer with a blade that can be picked up and put down uh, where you'd like it to, that's gonna work great as well and be super easy. So I know my favorite paper trimmer that I use there's a rotary one, so you can't do this kind of move with that, but these lightweight portable paper trimmers are perfect for this kind of project. So I'm just getting the blue, purple, blue border and cutting off where the purple meets. 
our second blue border. Of course, it doesn't matter too much as long as you can fit your um, photo mat inside the frame. And I'm just trimming off any parts that weren't all the way clipped. You know, normally if I don't have a camera in front, it is a lot easier to see and get more precise with the paper trimmer. But having that camera in the way, I don't want my head blocking the view. Step 14, we are going to be creating these cute little inserts that slide into our ephemera frame. So we're gonna grab our fairy wings paper that we cut earlier to 12 by four, and we are going to be measuring the inside um, of our windows. So just from each side, I'll start on the right hand side. I have this flush with where my window opens, and then I can just mark where the other side of my window with a pencil, so I will know to trim there. And then I'll do the same on the left hand side. So just having that flush with where my window opens and then now I can just mark a line. So now taking a paper trimmer I'm just going to cut on those two lines so I have the perfect uh, photo mat inserts for my frames. Now that we've cut our fairy wings papers now we're going to take this floral border sticker and we are going to adhere it flush with the top left hand edge and the top edge and once you have it placed where you like you can just trim to fit and then we'll do the same with the second one and then grabbing some cute little chipboard pieces I've uh, with my fine tip scissors, just cut off those little fuzzy nubs. And this fairy one is going to be adhered. I just put some adhesive on the bottom, on the back. That's gonna go about an eighth of an inch from the bottom of our border sticker in the center. So it will overhang off of our uh, photo mat giving us a nice little pole to pull out. And then for the second one, we've added this cute little butterfly. Step 15, we are gonna be taking our first chipboard page and this is going to be the cover of our album, but we're gonna wait to decorate our cover until the end so we don't ruin those beautiful flowers and embellishments. So we are gonna be using so this is what the cover would look like and then the inside page the scallops would be to the left so to show you from our example album so when your page is closed your scallops are going to be on or when your book is closed your scallops would be on the right and your first page with the back of the cover your scallops are going to be on the left so that's our uh, first thing that we're gonna start covering. So taking one of our tiny blossoms papers we cut earlier, we're gonna go ahead and adhere this on to our chipboard. So I have it, my first page adhered on and I've burnished out any air pockets on there. And now we can go ahead and take our scissors and trim off any excess. It is important when you're adhering things onto the chipboard surface that you do make sure that it has a nice strong bond and that we don't get any air stuck in there that can cause a bubbling or warping. At this point, I'm gonna take my crocodile and I'm going to punch my holes so you can see. Where they go. Like so. And just a tip if you are using a crocodile, these holes are bigger than the largest crocodile hole, so you do want to go around just trimming out any excess paper. 
that of course is if you want to get fussy with it you can just leave it as is as well all right so now we're going to take our frame and ephemera piece and just adding some foam adhesive on the back of our frame you do want to make sure that your page is still uh, facing the right way so we want our scallops to the left i may or may not have made that mistake myself and had to redo this page all right so i've got it down and i'm leaving about a one and one eighth inch on the top so that does leave about a fourth of an inch on the bottom and then i'm just making sure i'm keeping everything as straight as i can and now i've got my frame and then you'll just add some adhesive to your insert and this will be adhered just right inside of your frame. And now take your fairy insert and that's just gonna slip right in to our foam frame. Step 16, page two, we are going to adhere our tiny blossoms, our second sheet onto our scalloped page, making sure our scallops are on the right. Now that we're adhered and we've punched our holes, on our page two, we're gonna take our already cut piece of Magic Meadows that's 12 by four, and then just making sure this is right side up, that our stems are going down, that we are going to fold this in half, so it will be able to open up like this. So, you can use your scoreboard and fold at, or score at six inches if you'd like, or you can just eyeball it like we're gonna do here, just matching our two corners. And then flush with the right hand edge, we are going to adhere on a border strip of Butterfly Whimsy that's four inches. And then we're gonna take this adorable chipboard piece, and this is going to adhere um, on the center of our border frame where you can see our circle of our tag aligns in the center, uh, overhanging just a bit. And then we'll adhere this piece, just the back part of our open flap of Magic Meadows, onto our page. Again, making sure our scallops are on the right and everything's right side up. And then from your die cut assortment pack, locate this dreams tag and that just adheres right inside there. And if you want, you can just adhere uh, just the back of the right hand edge. That way, if you want to slide in a photo and have this kind of overlapping over the top, you can definitely do so. But you can also always embellish like these kinds of things after uh, once you're adding in all of your personal touches and your photos and uh, journaling, it might be a little uh, easier to know where you want your embellishments. Step 17, we're going to flip over our page two and on the back side we'll adhere our woodland wishes with the scallops on the left and just a tip when you're adhering on your pages since we already have some dimensional chipboard on the back side just opening it up uh, provides us with a much flatter surface so it's easier to push out any of those air bubbles now we are going to be creating our second flap and we want this to be opening up on the left hand side so we want to make sure our image is right side up while opening our flap on the left. So I'm going to go ahead, find my sweet spot and crease that fold. And now we have our left opening flap. Attach this cute heart chipboard onto the left end edge and then adhere your left flap page down to the page and then you can see we've also added the six inch border strip as well as this uh, cute little fairy tag sticker inside as well step 18 page three now we are going to adhere our second piece of woodland wishes onto our scallops with on the right so now we're going to grab this image from rainbow sparkle and then we're just going to score a half inch from the top of the image so just have it in on the four inch side and now i will score about a half inch now that we've scored this you're just going to want to go ahead and 
fold back our score line. And then using some adhesive, just add it to that half inch score. And this will become a cute little flat page on our album. So just find that center spot and adhere down your flap. And now you have a cute little interactive flip up so you'll have even extra spots for more photos and images or sentiments rather. And whenever you're adhering down something that moves, you do always want to kind of play around with it while your adhesive is still drying, making sure that everything is functioning correctly. Uh, while I was lifting this up and down, I noticed I got some air pockets in uh, that half inch band that I adhered down. So it was a good time to make sure that those were smoothed out before everything was uh, too dry and set. And then we've taken this butterfly die cut and just adhered it halfway onto our flap. And now that's, that's open, we're gonna just add this cute little frame and sentiment to the inside. But if you want uh, to keep it open and maybe you're not sure that you're gonna want that sentiment in there, maybe you wanna add a photo here, uh, you could always just adhere down those uh, three sides in a U and then have a little place where you could tuck in a, an image. And then you could adhere this sentiment down here onto your page, uh, even in like an L shape so you could slide in a photo here. So you could just have some more spots um, or in, you can do it like we're done in our directions and just adhere this right into the frame. Step 19, we're gonna locate two of our, uh, two, our 12 inch by two inch pieces of daffodil dance. And we're gonna be doing some fussy cutting. We're gonna be fussy cutting out these super cute little pockets you can see here. So we'll be cutting the tops. So I am going not so I don't have to fuss cut this whole 12 inch piece. I'm just kind of going to eyeball, just kind of get an idea of what I want to be cutting and which side I like the most. So I think I like it facing this way the most and just making sure I've got some good blossoms throughout there. I'm gonna just kind of make a little mark where I want to start my fussy cutting. So I know that I'm not going to be cutting this part, but I will be cutting this part and I'll do that uh, the same thing with that second piece. And then I'm going to go in there and I'm just going to start cutting. So where I've made my mark, I'm just going to start cutting around these daffodils. And you can kind of pick and choose what imagery you want to be featured in your little detailed pocket. So anything that's kind of already been chopped off from our measurements, I won't be using. But I don't want to go too far down So this is a really fun and creative way to use up some of those busier pattern papers, especially if you've got some leftovers and you wanna add some interaction to your mini albums. So it's just a fun way to add a pocket and you don't have to have a detailed border a punch, just create our own. And because this will be used as a pocket, you don't really want to get anything too detailed because it might get ruined when you're putting things in and out of your pocket. So you do want to keep that in mind. So 
So we've got our border strips fussy cut. Now we are just going to take our pages, first one um, with our scallops on the left, and then kind of find the sweet spot of where you want your page to begin and end, and then we'll flip that over. And then um, just with a pencil, we can go ahead and trace Make sure it's flush with the bottom. And then with a pencil, you can just trace where you want to cut. And then grabbing a new chipboard page. This time we're gonna have our scallops on the right and we'll do that same step. Uh, just finding where we want our pages to begin and end and then And then flip that over, making sure your page is flush with the bottom and then go ahead and trace your lines where we'll be cutting our pocket. And then grab your two B-side Daffodil Dance scalloped pages and adhere these, and adhere these onto your pages. So now just cut along our fussy cut border pieces for our DIY pockets. So I just cut along my traced lines and now I'm going to form my U-shaped pocket. Once that's been adhered down, we can trim up anything that we need to trim up. Looking like I've got a little bit of overhang on my back hand side. And then I'm going to repunch that hole. And then we'll do the same with the scallops on the right hand side. And then all we have to do now is stuff our pockets with some cute little cut aparts that we cut out from the beginning. And you can see both of our cut apart pages have just a nice little background. So it's great to add your photos on top of these and then have a nice little photo mat peeking out from the back. And then you can slip those right into those pockets. So now we're gonna flip this over and start on step 22, uh, page, the back of page four. And we're going to adhere on our the B side of blowing bubbles. Then adhere on one of our six by four magic meadow stripes. And then grab this oval die cut frame and adhere this down. If you want to slide in a photo, you can just adhere it in a U shape or you can adhere it all down if you want that image inside. For step 23, our page five, the front of page five, we've adhered blowing bubbles down. And then with the 12 by four, sheet of blowing bubbles we've folded that in half and then adhere a four inch border piece from butterfly whimsy and this cute little fairy chipboard and then adhere your flap down to your page and then add this cute little three butterfly cut apart i just adhered mine in an l shape so i'll be able to slide in anything in there that i'd like step 24 the back of page five We've adhered our horizontal Woodland Wishes paper on with our scallops on the left-hand side. Now take your four, or 12 by four Woodland Wishes paper and we've folded that in half. So our pink side is going to be showing and our opening is from the left-hand side. And then we've added our four inch border and this cute cut apart from Butterfly Whimsy and then this butterfly chipboard and then adhere your flat page all the way down onto your chipboard and add this cute little sentiment in the corner. And then always, if you want even more space where you can add in uh, extra photos or memorabilia, you can always just adhere these uh, flat pages down in a U shape, uh, leaving a nice big space for things there as well. 
Step 25, this is the front of page six. We've adhered our woodland wishes, another one of those horizontal woodland wishes uh, down to our chipboard page. Now we're gonna take our Magic Meadows six by four and we've adhered this on there, just about a fourth of an inch from the top, leaving more space on the bottom. And then adhered our die cut that says, leave a little sparkle. Step 26, the back of page six, we've adhered the pink side of our tiny blossoms paper. And then we are taking our tiny blossoms uh, 12 by four piece. And we're gonna fold this where we are having a left open fold and so everything's upright. And so your page should say dreams uh, about right there. And then add this four inch border and this beautiful butterfly chipboard. Adhere your flap down to your chipboard page and then add this dreams cut apart. Step 27 the front of page seven. We've just added our tiny blossoms pink side with our scallops on the right. And now we're taking that other frame piece we cut out earlier and we are going to adhere this in the center from left and right, but we wanna leave about an inch and an eighth from the top. So and we've used that foam adhesive on the back of our frame. And now that has been adhered into our frame. And then we're gonna take our little photo mat that we created and slide that right into our frame. Super cute. Step 28, for the back of page seven, we've adhered Magic Meadows to our chipboard. Now with this four by six, find the magic uh, cut apart. We've scored the top half inch and added some adhesive there. And now we're just gonna create another one of those easy peasy flip up pages. And then adhere these green fairies as a tab pull. And then on the inside, we'll uh, adhere this other die cut square sentiment. Step 29, the front of page eight, we're adhering magic meadows. Then adhere your four inch border, this beautiful purple flower cut apart and this magic chipboard. Adhere your flat page onto your chipboard and then add this cute little fairy wing sticker. So for step 31, we are gonna be repeating these daffodil pages. So I've already fussy cut out my two 12 inch strips. And now we're just gonna do, figure out where we want it to go and then do the tracing and trimming. So after we have all of our papers fussy cut and glued down, then we're just gonna take these cut aparts and stuff them in our pockets. It'll be ready for all of your journaling and your photo mats. Step 33, we're doing the back of page nine, which is, which is also the back of our cover. I've just adhered down our B side of fairy wings and now taking a five inch strip of our border, I'm gonna put those right over our holes. That will give it some extra strength in our book where our holes go and then just repunch those holes. Now we are gonna work on our cover. We're gonna be creating a dimensional die cut piece. So uh, you wanna locate these three die cuts and then these two chipboard flowers. Adding some foam adhesive to the back of our fairy frame. I am going to now add this dimensionally to the B side of this clock image, which is this nice pink gingham. And once I found the placement I like, go ahead and stick that down. Next, add some foam adhesive to the back of this Believe in Magic banner piece. And then just giving it a little bend that'll give it some extra movement. I am going to adhere this where it's not all the way flat. It's got a nice little bubble and curve and then my little ends can be up as well. And now add those chipboard circles. So we're gonna grab that first page that we worked on and start to do our cover. Now we're just repeating what we did on the back cover. So we have the B-side of Fairy Wings Gingham here, our border strip, 
and then uh, we're gonna punch those holes. Next, grab that cardstock we cut in the beginning. It might have been white or just any coordinating cardstock you have. And adhere this down. And then grab that five and five eighths by four and one eighth magic meadow paper. And that is gonna go right on top of our cardstock. And then if you adhered yours upside down like I did, no worries because once we add all of our embellishments, uh, you won't be able to tell anyway. And now we're going to just start to decorate our front cover. So our dimensional die cut piece will go towards the right hand side. And then we are going to start adhering our flowers down. So we'll have two large flowers diagonal from each other, a medium flower underneath with those leaves. And then we'll be arranging three little buds up towards the top. I'm gonna just twist those together and then cut off the excess. Like so. And then we'll have this leaf piece going through. So now that I have it arranged, we can slide it off and then start to adhere it down. And then we're gonna take one of these spiral sprigs and I'm just gonna fold it in half and then tuck it in here as well. And then from the die cut pack, you also have some of these cute little butterflies and we'll just adhere those Just glue one of those wings down there. And here I blew one over there. And now that our cover is finished and looking dimensional and beautiful, we can go ahead and take our binding rings and it clip all of our pages and everything together. So just open up your rings. So pull them out and out, open. Make sure all your pages are organized and flush. Well, there you have it. We have created a dimensional pennant album. We hope that you enjoyed creating this album with us as much as we have. It's full of fun, interactive pages, and we can't wait to see your projects. So be sure to share your albums with us on social media using that graphic 45 hashtag. And if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, uh, we do fun tutorials like this every single month. And um, we also do card tutorials and our brand ambassadors do some brilliant tutorials as well. So go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you know when we've got up a new tutorial. We hope you are staying safe out there and enjoying some sunshine. Thanks so much for joining us and as always, happy paper crafting. Mm -hmm.